guys, welcome back and thanks for joining me. Um, I'm just going to tie you like a wee squirrel doll back, if you like. Now the hook in the face is a Amazon B175 size 10. The thread I'm going to use to tie the fly is the Uni Thread 80 in mahogany. So I'm just going to come in and get the thread started behind the eye of the hook. I'm just going to run my thread down. Like always until I'm past the point of the hook and remove the, the waist tag of thread and the tail on the fly it's going to be a red game this is just a saddle haggle so I'm going to take a pinch of the fibers off the feather start with this up to the hook just a wee bit shorter than the body and I'm going to take three turns of the thread coming down the, the hook shank just going to trim that away the rib is going to be a medium opal mirage tinsel so, just going to link this off now you could use a red holographic tinsel on the sweet fly and it'll look well too now I'm just going to catch this in just on my side of the hook and then I'm just going to run my thread up you don't need to be too worried about lumps and bumps and the body's going to be dubbed so I'm just going to catch that in and then run my thread back down tied up against the tail the dubbing is the the fox squirrel 220 and natural fur. So I'm just going to get a bit off here. Right. This stuff's dead easy to dub. I just like to always dub it in small amounts rather than take big pinches off. I'm going to leave that bit, the other wee bit for the head there. Now, I don't get too hung up here guys, if I can see the thread. Just going to tighten up through the, the dubbing. That's why I'm using the, the mahogany thread. Now you get up to here, just gonna, anything that's going forward, I'm just going to sweep it back. And bring my thread in front. Then I'm going to come up with my Opal Mirage. I'm looking four turns of the Opal Mirage up the body to there. Follow this around with my thread. A couple of tight turns to secure that in. Come in and trim away the, the axis. Now you want this to be spiky. So if everything's spiking out everywhere, that's the way we want it. Now at this point, I'm going to come in and put on a split jungle cock just got one here now I'm just going to show you the split I've usually got them split right down that wee feather you can see it there it's split already so all we're going to do is just clean away the flue the rubbish from the bottom and just turn the feather around and then we're going to come in and just basically just trim that down further just to exaggerate the, the split in the feather. And then we're going to offer this up. And then come in with just tight turns of thread. There you can see it there. And then we're just going to come in and trim away the excess. Maybe fibers here, we'll just take those away while we're, while we're here. Right, I'm just going to work my thread back down to there. Then I'm going to come in and just put on some more of the fox squirrel dubbing. Just a small pinch this time. Just dub it on as tight as I can get up. And just run this down. Right, I'm not looking too bad. Bring the thread back up, 
not looking too bad at all. Now we're going to put a throat on. We'll just go back to our cock saddle cape. Just get a few fibers off for a, for a wee throat. I just want this sort of way coming to the end of the body. If you like, I'm just going to pinch and loop this up the way. Do a couple of turns. Just want to see what way I'm sitting. Spread it out. Happy with that. Just come in and collect the, the waist ends. Trim those away. So now I think it's going forward. Just sweep it back. Bring my thread to the eye. Back up. Right, I'm just going to come in. Another wee tiny bit of dubbing on. It's the smallest amount. Nice and tight. With it here. Slide that up. Then I'm going to take a turn. Just going to brush it back. Just clean that off my thread a second. Brush it back. Then we're just going to build up the head. Now you want the nice mahogany head on the fly. And then we'll come in, keeping our thread tight. And we'll throw in a work finish. Pull the thread tight. Come in, trim away the, the tan thread. So there you go guys. That's a that's a crack and wee pattern that too. Tie those down to size 12. Now, just to come in and sort of wait the first coat on the head. Just a wee tiny drop of super glue. Yeah. A wee bit of underneath. And there you go. So it's just basically a, I know, a fox squirrel doll back, if you like. So, if you're into your trade fishing, a few of those up hopefully they can catch you a few fish as always guys many thanks for taking the time to view the video i really do appreciate it thank you if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing and until next time stay safe and take lines